What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, as well as Lucas standing right in the way. And we're back for another AHA uh -huh reaction from the deluxe edition of Scoundrel Days, and it's the last non-live track on the second disc. And it's not a demo, it's the original version of This Alone Is Love, a track which would later show up on Stay On These Roads. And apparently it was originally the B-side to I've Been Losing You, and has a different composition than the one that eventually ended up on their later album. So I enjoy the one on Stay On These Roads, I was going to say the original, but yes, I enjoy that album version. It has a nighttime quality to it, but also some energy and drive when it gets going. I think Morton's vocal performance stands out maybe more than anything else. It's very passionate and dramatic at times. There is some wicked rockin', rocking guitar toward the latter stages, especially. It has a bit of a synth or string synth in it for parts, so... Yeah, sonically, I think it's really good. Lyrically, I do enjoy the lines that I remember catching, and people talked a bit more about it in that reaction. But ultimately, I'm just curious how this original B-side version will be sonically different. So looking forward to that, as is Luca. Let's check it out. This is AHA, uh -huh, and the original version of This Alone Is Love, which was a B-side from the single I've Been Losing You. <laughs>
So I feel like the guitar is not as prominent in this version. There's still some twangy moments, there's even a little bit of a, a bass lick. But the edgier guitar I remember from the latter stages of the Stay On These Roads version seemed to be absent here. But in its place seemed to be an enhanced feel with that organ run, the sort of jazzy type of organ keys with a bit of swagger to them. I don't think that string synth that I remember from the later version was here, or at least maybe it was that same backing intensity was put into the keyboards. So sonically a bit different, as I said, still that nighttime vibe with, with a bit of drive and energy once it starts rolling, but it felt even the percussion scheme was a bit different. Again, the snare felt a little harder. But ultimately, vocally, it seems like it's more or less in the same place. I don't remember if that dead pause moment was in the later version. And indeed, I was about to say that. Like, wait, is it, like, did it halt like this? And I couldn't even get it out before it popped back in. So, yeah, it feels like they did tinker with it a bit and adjust it. In the moment, I feel like there's some parts of this version I like better. But maybe the overall track and certainly the guitar aspect I pr perhaps prefer from the Stay On These Roads rendition, so yeah, I think there are things which sound maybe superior in both versions, so yeah, ultimately it's cool when you hear different versions of a track and you can try to dissect what they did that maybe worked or what you preferred in the other renditions, so do let me know which version you prefer, Luca will let us know as well, I guess she's going to go to the floor now, let me know what you think, I will see you next time, peace.